Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another Helldivers 2 video because I just love the taste of Liberty. It's my new favorite drink. Can't get enough of it. So I wanted to make a video on the best build currently like after the balancing patch that they released like uh, a few days ago. Uh, the breaker was nerfed like really bad and uh, I mean it's still good but it's like the bullets are like very less before you can reload so my new favorite primary weapon and in my opinion the best one is the breaker incendiary if you don't have the premium um, war bond you can use the laser energy based weapon that you get from the normal war bond but you can pretty much farm like uh, unlimited super credits from missions so I highly suggest get the premium war bond and then get the breaker incendiary for the armor like if you're playing those uh, mission based objectives i mean objective based missions sorry then this is definitely the best armor because you're going to need all the speed that you can get so as you can see i'm on level 50 and i play all my missions on hell dive difficulty uh, just so i can uh, farm some uh, medals for the next season and some rare samples because i'm pretty sure they're going to add new ship like customizations new upgrades so i'm just saving up for that so these are the basic um, like pre stratagem loadout that you want to have for your secondary you can either use the pistol or the smg i really like the smg because of the fast fire rate all right so now to the important bit the stratagems all right all right, so first of all, I'll be showing you what you need to use for objective-based missions, like this one right here. So you'll definitely want to have the Eagle 500 kg bomb and the Orbital Laser. The Orbital Laser is like one of my favorite stratagems. And on the third and fourth spot, you'll want to have the Shield and the Exosuit. Now, you can either use the Exosuit or the Orbital Rail Cannon, like depending on what you're going for in the mission. Like if you're planning to speed run for the mission then definitely the exosuit will help you but if you're looking to farm like um, super credits or something you can use the orbital rail cannon strike so that uh, you can easily kill chargers and even bile titans all right so let's see how i do in this mission you can even use this solo uh, or if you're playing this with like two or three people uh, as you can see this is a very high level like lobby it's a level 9 hell dive mission so if you're playing with low levels then definitely ask them to use this loadout all right so let me show you an example here what i like to do when i reach the objective so as soon as i reach the objective i try to take out as many um, enemies as many bugs as possible especially the smaller ones so i just throw in a, a throw in an eagle 500 kg bomb from a distance where the bugs cannot see me so that they're in like uh, they're in the same place and immediately after i'll throw in an orbital laser so that it takes out all i mean almost all the enemies and then if there is if i get overwhelmed i can easily call in my exosuit and that can take care of the rest of the enemies so you'll almost certainly uh, there'll be a bug breach, but don't worry. There'll be like bile titans, like one or two bile titans, but with the exosuit, you can easily kill the bile titans with like two or three rockets from your exosuit. So in this one, we have to activate the E710 pumps. It's really easy to turn on the terminals. As you can see, there is a bug breach already. So as soon as you reach the objective, try to take out as many smaller enemies as possible because those are the those are the bugs that call in the bug breach like don't get scared as soon as you see the bug breach detected notification on your screen because with the exosuit it's really easy even on level 9 and always make sure to keep an exosuit available on the extraction because on hell dive difficulties most of the time you have to wait 4 minutes before you can extract till the shuttle arrives so the exosuit will help here as you can see sometimes if you don't have the exosuit the bile titans will definitely get you but if you and your friends have exosuits you shouldn't have any problems at all and if one of your teammates has an ems mortar 
that will definitely come in handy because the enemies won't be able to move right here as you can see they were stuck in place and i could get an easy shot now these guys were random so they didn't have the proper loadouts that's why i did hide a lot but i literally they carried my team i carried my team on this mission and uh, i mean because i had the right loadout so if you have this loadout it'll be very hard for you to not succeed and remember on level 9 you get more than 1000 xp like even if you just speed run through the mission without doing any of the side objectives all right so next i'll be showing you what you need to use for eradication missions like eradicate terminate swarm like the missions where you have to kill a certain number of enemies they definitely i mean made this harder but with the right loadout it's still easy it used to be like 180 enemies or something like that but with the new update it's like you have to kill 500 enemies now so first two will be the same eagle 500 kg bomb and orbital laser but the last two spots should be the ems mortar and the normal mortar these two are game changers if none of you have mortars then it'll be very hard for you to complete the mission if you're playing this on hell dive difficulty and for your armor you'll want to wear this particular armor right here the fortified commando as you can see it has a 200 armor rating and uh, you are, you'll also be getting i mean i mean not sure if how long this will be available for but even without the stratagems everyone gets the exosuit for free i mean you can call in the exosuit once so that'll make the mission way easier i'm not sure how long that will last but even without the exosuit if you have the two ems mortars i mean sorry the ems mortar and the normal mortar the two mortars this will make the mission way easier and try to land on top of this uh, rock right here this will this is like a safe spot you can even call in your exosuit on top of this rock and you can easily like get a good vantage point and this is also another change that they made so before you you had a bit of time to i mean warm up before there were bug breaches but now immediately after you uh, drop in there will be a bug breach so immediately throw in your orbital laser now these guys made a mistake they called in their exosuit right in the hot spot as you can see that was a bad idea so i'd call in my exosuit right here and try to reinforce your friends where i'm standing this is a safe spot and your ems mortar will protect you because the enemies won't be able to move try to take out the first 100 to 200 enemies just from your stratagems alone and then call in your exosuit and also keep in mind these are the loadouts for bugs i'll definitely be making another video for automatons the robots so as you can see the exosuit will definitely help in taking down bile titans it takes only like three rockets it's actually easier to take out a bile titan with the exosuit than a charger because with a bile titan there's like more open area like but with a charger like you have to aim at the tail so <laughs> No matter how many Bile Titans they spawn in, they are going to go down as fast as they came up. Alright, so that will be about it for this video. Hope it helps you guys. Hope it helps you reach level 50. Hope it helps you liberate planets with your friends. Take out these bugs. And let me know if you want to see a video of any other kind on Helldivers 2 and i'll definitely help you out feel free to comment and i will see you guys in the next one take care bye bye and peace out